So this is episode two of the Civic Restoration. Um, just a couple of things before we have a quick walk around the car, look at what progress has been made in the last few days. Um, it does turn out this car is actually a 1974 car. Now, although it was registered in 75, it is actually slightly older. So it's one of the one of the earliest cars around. Um, the car has now been named George after the original owner, and I thought that was a fitting thing to do since uh, George. Uh, put this car away into storage in the in the 1980s. I thought, you know, it looks kind of like a George, maybe a Georgina. I don't know. So George, the car is Project George. I thought that was maybe a little tribute to the original owner. Um, I also mentioned that the inner wings didn't have any rust. Might want to go back on that. So we'll have a quick look around the car now. So all in all, still very pleased with the car. Um, when I took the front wings off, as you can see, a little bit of rust in there. Um, yeah, that took quite a bit of sweeping up uh, when that all fell to the floor. So apparently the water, as I now found out from uh, many of the gurus that looked after uh, Mark 1 Civics, uh, the water gets trapped, there's no arch liners, the water gets trapped between the inner wing and the outer wing and rusts this out. Thankfully, um, a good friend Jay Spenlove, who's uh, uh, a bit of a Mark 1, not a bit, a lot of a Mark 1 guru, who's been helping me... Uh, go over this whole car because I you know although I've got a good background of uh, working with Hondas never worked on a Mark 1 Civic before so it's great that the likes of Jay and, and Simon Carr have been helping me with this um, so there are uh, replacement panels or re replacement reinforcers for this area so I can go back and cut this out weld it in doesn't worry me in the slightest this is this is the worst side the other side is not quite as bad but I'll still cut out the whole section and, and weld in new um, Again, I mentioned this in the last video, the rest of the car is absolutely fantastic. This is the only really bad area of rust. So given the age, what, 45 years old, I'll take that. Um, so just walking around, you'll see in here, um, okay, the engine's still here. The engine's gonna be dropped tomorrow. So what I've done in the meantime is remove the radiator, remove the front bumper, uh, remove the grills on the trim work, remove the front wings. Um, if we just go down into the arch, you'll see pretty much everything's out there, the drive shafts. Uh, hanging out there, track rods are off. Unbelievably, the drive shafts just pressed out of the hubs with my thumb. I've never come across that in 25, 30 years of playing with cars. That is absolutely unbelievable. Um, Same, so not a single bolt has, bolt has sheared, not a single bolt has been stuck. Everything has just come off the car instantly. It's been an absolute joy to work on. Um, I might regret saying that, I appreciate that. But at this moment in time, it's been an absolute joy to work on this car. Um, mm, let's hope that continues with the, when, when we drop the engine uh, tomorrow. So just carry on with the little tour. So around the front, you'll see it. And look at the condition of that. That is quite remarkable. Um, you can probably tell how thrilled I am with the condition of this car. Um, it's an absolute gem. You'd expect. I mean, there are little bits and pieces, and where the, where there's been water traps, there's still corrosion, and I will deal with that. But you know, we're not looking at building that, rebuilding the whole shell, which is an absolute uh, yeah, it's a real joy. You know, it's really really pleasing to see. I'll just go around the other side. Um, this engine is well and truly seized. I've not been able to budget at all. Um, the head gasket failed catastrophically. When I actually drained the oil pan, it was just full of coolant. Um, so yeah, something let go in a big way, but we'll, we'll find out what's going on. Um, this engine is literally held in now by the center, the center mount, and if I just point here, this little tiny mount here, that's it. So you can actually, it's very difficult to do at the same time, you'll see, that is very free. <laughs> so that's gonna get dropped down tomorrow. Um, Everything is labeled up, I'm, you know, uh, having done a quite a few uh, light restorations and big restorations, I now have learnt the hard way about bagging things up and labelling everything up. Again, really good condition. This side's not as bad with the rust. Um, pleasing to see. But I'm still, I'm probably going to cut that out anyway and just put fresh metal in just because I think while I'm here and I've got the welder out, um, probably the right thing to do. On the bad news front, well, here's some of the bits that have come off. The alternator's there, uh, front knuckle, lower control arm old springs. Um, the front dampers are completely shot. You'll see there's some valving um, that's failed and uh, 
yes, we're going to put coilovers on here, not to lower the car, but just because that's the only suspension that's really available. So we'll just have a quick look at some of the parts that have come off the car. Or the side of the hub and the radiator. And here is the brake master cylinder. I think somebody's been growing uh, penicillin in there. Uh, I wouldn't suggest snorting any of that stuff. So here's a little collection of the parts. The cylinder heads there, the carburetor, a few bits and bobs. And you'll see that I've got the rare JDM muffler delete option. So if anybody wants a very, very rare exhaust from Art One Civic, you know, hit me up. It's only $1,000. I think that's really good value. And there we are. That's where we're up to. So tomorrow, the engine comes out and um, there'll be an update shortly after. If you've got any questions, fire them, fire them across. Please leave comments, all that kind of thing. Uh, and um, see you in the next video.